This is the most ridiculous thing ever. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The time is five to seven in the morning. I've been up since six o'clock and it is an absolute dream to be to just get in a car that's so easy to drive. I've stuck it in auto and I'll tell you what, I'm probably not even gonna go over 3,000 RPM this morning. I'm just gonna really cruise into central London. It's gonna be a real cruise this morning. I'm heading in to pick up Tom and then we're gonna swap, Tom's gonna drive and we're going down to Goodwood today. I'm so excited, like, the cars that I've seen there already are insane. Right, I'm now in the passenger seat with Tom driving. This is the first mile you've done in this car. This is by far, is this the quickest car you've ever driven? Uh, RS7, it's probably quicker than this too. I reckon this is gonna be quicker. <laughs> I wouldn't know either way. <laughs> We've got a meeting point. <laughs> which is on the corner of the worst junction in the world. Ooh. So we've had to relocate. Tom's going back up, back up on the curb. Sorry, thanks. And it's on the school run. This is awful. This Nissan Micro in front has a Goodwood sticker on the back. So I'm sure if we follow him, he'll take us to Goodwood. It's a good idea, actually. Easier than sat nav. Yeah. So this is the fuel station, Tom's putting in fuel into the, the V10, got another V10 next to us and it's time to get a drink, get a drink. I had no idea these existed in the UK, Dunkin Donuts. tunnel upon us which means it's an average speed check of 50 so if we do 10 and Sam does 15 I think there's a, another Lambo behind us there's a hurricane as well there's an orange hurricane uh -oh. this is what happens on the Goodwood convoy Let's slow right down is going off for the next or the last five minutes of the journey. Oh, look at the supercars. I could probably spend all day in here. Oh, forgot that you're attached to my cable. What have we got, anything good? A few Aventadors, a few Lambos, a few Porsches. McLaren. So immediately I've arrived and come to the driver's club with Audi as I've got my helmet and I'm going up the hill in the new RS3. I'm not gonna put this in the vlog, probably just get the before and after reaction and make a separate video of me going up the hill. But I thought, you know what? I've driven the RS3 to my maximum, but let's let someone else, a proper trained professional driver, do it, scare the hell out of me.
ready for the hill climb for the FXXK. <laughs> This is the most ridiculous thing ever. Wow. I know I didn't say too much, but obviously I wanted to let uh, Steve concentrate on the drive, but what an awesome experience. We've just got a huge array of cars around us. We've got the 918 next to us here. So after the hill climb, we've come up and wow, my hair is amazing. I'm here with Tom and we've got hampers, 70 pounds worth. We were just heading home. <laughs> Tom's really pleased with it. We were just heading back to the car because Tom needs to shoot. He's going on holiday tomorrow. And bearing in mind, I'm back here for the next two days. However, we have seen a Zonda F. We're in a supercar paddock here, as you can see. There's a Nardo Grey R brake V10 there. Pretty nice. Delicious. Yep. But let's go and have a look at this Zonda. Hurricanes everywhere. P1 over there. The Ventador. And there it is. What a beast. Right, so day one has ended. Well, it's ended pretty early, but that does not matter because I'm back tomorrow. This paddock is going to be different. All of the stuff is going to be the same, but I'm bringing my video camera this time. We're going to get run over by a Porsche. So I'm bringing my video camera tomorrow and I'm going to be filming the hill climb from the outside. Today was just the test day, working out what goes on at what time so I can come back tomorrow with Sam, see through glass and have a lot of fun and film as many supercars and photograph as many supercars as possible. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the end of day one at Goodwood. I hope you enjoyed. I kind of caught the sun even though I wasn't in the sun and my hair is literally all over the place thanks to Tom deciding to put the, the roof down in the most awkward places. And now Tom is just getting his M3 and I'm back in the driver's seat of this car. And that's the end of the vlog and the end of day one at Goodwood. I'm super excited for tomorrow with uh, Seen Through Glass coming along with me and he'll be driving this car as well. And I'm going to be taking my video camera and doing more of a video and a daily vlog. I didn't film too many supercars today, it was more a case of me going up the hill in the RS3 which is insane and the video is going to be coming soon. There he goes. The video of the RS3 is going to be coming very soon. It's probably going to be uploaded whilst I am in Portugal. That is a really cool video and an awesome experience. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow for a fun collaboration I'm going to have with Sam on the daily vlogs. And who knows what's going to happen uh, with the supercars. So bring it on. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you subscribe. I'm going to cruise back with the roof up, even though it's a nice day. Just going to let the windows get the breeze in. And I am tired. A bit wide there. So far 0.388 seconds ahead of Vettel. Something tells me this 